Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tengu230. I hope you guys are having a great day. Please let me know which games you guys are currently playing in the comments below. So welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. I'm gonna make camp right here, which I probably should have made camp in the last episode, but whatever. I need to rest up because my health is low. And I don't know if I have any healing things to use, I think. So anyway, let's just make some camp for now and see what happens. Yes. What? This doesn't look like camp at all. I am having weird dreams. Okay. This cave shouldn't be too big. There's the bear. Let's Fuck. There's... Is that another bear? Let's go. Let's go, you bear. That's right. Wound me. You took a, lo a lot of my endurance. I think that's my endurance. Uh, why don't I pause? Reduced to zero endurance. They are knocked out. This means they are out of the fight, but as long as your side is victorious, they'll regenerate their endurance when the combat- Fuck! What?! Okay then! Damn! Well, I can't take on that bear! <laughs> okay, I guess I'm going to the Guild of the Veil then! Holy shit, I thought I could take out- It's just a bear, I killed like three wolves. I thought they would at least equal a bear. You just swiped me on my endurance. Really? My endurance just like died. I need like endurance items. Do I have endurance items? I think I do. Let's see. Like me. So use that. Attack him. Let's go. Just attack it. Come on. No, wrong one. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 that's my endurance. Hell yeah. Let's go. Hell yeah, dude. I need more endurance then. Just fucking. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, so I can't do anything with that. Off to the Gilded Veil! Guess I'll come back for you later, bear. It'll take you eight hours to complete your journey from Veilwood to Gilded Veil. That is all good. I need a- oh, yeah, I, I can hire folks. I can't just take on a bear by myself. What was I thinking? Why, I could bed down here. Okay. Let's like a look at the map. Whoa! This place is huge! Where's the guy? There's the Black Hound in. It's over there. R wow, there's so many places. Windmill. Can I like mark places? Temple of... Wow, okay. This is Gilded Vale. Alright. Well, I'm going to the Hound's Inn. Hopefully nobody will bother me. What's up, fellas? Oh god, I'm gonna have to talk to everybody. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, hanged people. Nice. On a whole- wow. That's a lot of hanged people on that tree, man. What is up with this town? I'm not gonna get hanged now, am I? You must be one of the new settlers. Welcome to Gilded Vale. You'll be pleased to know that we've had some recent vacancies here. Okay. Uh, I feel at home already. Do you welcome everyone this way? The only answer you hear is the buzzing of the flies from the tree. Of course, we'll need to make some inquiries first. The inestimable Lord Radric VII has taken great pains to insulate our town from Widewind's legacy. Have you ever conceived a hollow-born child? What are you talking about? An infant born without a soul, of course. Lord Raderick has made it his first priority to eliminate this scourge from our village. I should warn you, stranger. Here in Gilded Vale, we have a special place for dissidents, charlatans, and those who would hide a curse in our midst. He steps to the side and inclines his head, or ever so slightly, toward the deformed tree. His lordship's wife is with child and due any day now. Without his approval, I shan't be able to find you a permanent settlement. It will have to wait until after the birth. We can continue our interview then, after the bell tolls from Radric's hold to signal my lord's new heir. In the meantime, you can find temporary accommodations at the inn, just southwest of here. Okay. I'm not gonna tell him about the Buick. Let's talk about the Holoborn stuff you're talking about. He blinks. I forget that you foreigners do not have this curse in your homelands. The Hollowborn have been a scourge upon the Durwood for almost 15 years now. He lowers his voice to whisper. Children born without souls. 
He shakes his head. Pitiful, dumb things that breathe barely, but do not truly live. Some say the Hollowborn are a disease. Some they are. Some say they are a punishment from the gods. He raises his empty hands. In truth, no one knows, but they began spreading after the Saints' War, and so the same Wade Wind's legacy stuck in honor of that foul, blasphemous pretender. His voice shakes with virito. I see. Lord Raedric's decrees may seem strict at times, but he has our best interests at heart. He nods. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask. It's important that everyone in Guild of Vale understands our rules. Uh, let's do this, I guess. He regards you carefully. You'll want to mind where you mentioned that. Trespassing in Engweath and Ruins is illegal, not to mention dangerous. You probably saw someone attempting some new ritual to appease the gods. People will try anything these days. I hear the flies buzzing around those dead corpses that are hanging. Be wrath, have mercy. We certainly have. Maybe so. I don't think so. Just as they finished, there was a bewick. He polishes his spectacles on his sleeve. You've been that close to a Beowick. You wouldn't be standing here. I've been feeling strange ever since a close call with the Beowick. Is there someone in town who could help? Whatever your problem, it sounds like a matter for an Animancer. However, the only Animancer in Gilded Vale isn't in any condition to speak. Consider yourself fortunate. He points at a body After from the tree. After she Lord Radric, we saw to it that she wouldn't profit from the misplaced trust of others. A bad cure is often worse than none at all. Hmm. But if you're set on finding a bottle of troll piss or a dead Audra pebble to rub on your forehead, you're welcome to check her pockets. A little corpse stink is nothing when you're digging for shit. My advice, however, is to be satisfied that you escaped and leave it at that. Goodbye. Keep out of... Keep out of what? Oh, the bell tolls. Listen. Two tolls. Let that be the last. Three. Gods have mercy. It seems your arrival is ill-timed. Uh, looks out towards the east. His expression unreadable. He blinks slowly and turns his attention to you. Three bells toll only for the death of a Radric. Fear Lord Radric's heir is lost, or else Hollowborn, and so lost all the same. You should tread carefully. Circumstances have changed a great deal. What does that mean? What happened? You come to us at a time of mourning. The legacy has struck at the heart of Gilded Vale. Our efforts to redeem ourselves in the eyes of Birath must be redoubled. He sets a steady gaze on you. What happened? He shrugs his one bony shoulder. I will know more details when the messengers arrive. The vagaries of childbirth, perhaps, but that is not your concern. Does this affect the Lord's offer to new settlers? Uh, I can be sure of nothing right now. I advise you to get some rest the inn or a stable for all I care. Find me afterwards. I will know more soon enough. Urgiat. Okay, that's the name. Farewell. I'm not threatening you. Talking to any of you guys. Are you Urgiat? You are Urgiat. Okay, well, goodbye. No, I don't want to talk to you. What about you? Keep out of trouble. Keep it. Keep out of trouble. Okay. What about you? Who are you? A deer. Were you looking for someone in that tree? Uh, I could introduce you. Looking for anyone who can help me feel better? Strange way to talk about your dead. He looks up at the tree and breathes out. Half the town's up there now. Seems like no right way to talk about it. I'm looking for someone who can help me feel better. He gives an understanding nod as he takes a long drag from his pipe. My condolences. He exhales and turns his attention away, watching the village around him. That didn't really answer my question. Okay. Why are there stairs here? What's that? Oh, that's the blood moss. How am I supposed to get somebody up here? <laughs> okay then. Oh, stairs over there. Alright. I'm curious. Oh, I can't go through that way? Like through here? I can step over that. I want to look at the corpses. What if it's not the baby? Maybe Kulsik managed to. Been thinking about joining family over in Jerford. They have it far better than us. Careful if you head east. Guards patrol the eastern wood, but not the Black Meadow. Villager. Feels like we've been seeing more bandits along the roads of late. Alright, let's head to the inn then. 
Southwest of here, right? I'm almost there. Yes, almost there. Is that the end? I don't know. Yeah, oh, that way. Wait, is that... Uh, that's a roof. Can't climb the roof. What are these guys? Whoa, okay. Aloth. Hey, is this going to be one of my partner dudes? You see four people gathered by the door to the inn. Their raised voices and chopping gestures suggest an argument reaching its climax. Climax. The first figure raises his hands for calm. His face is partially obscured by a hood, but his height and stature suggest an elf. I meant no offense. Let's put this matter to rest over a round, shall we? My treat. Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. Everyone calm down. What's going on? One of the other men points at the hooded elf. His eyes are red from drink, but his gaze is focused. Mocking us, even while he shelters in our village, just goes to show you that these fancy a deer manners are worth. We don't take to that kind of treatment, not from foreigners, and especially not from Adirians. Go on. Say it again. I'm itching for an excuse. Fie, you're itching for the kindling touch of your sister, you cock's feather! Alright, this guy has an awesome accent. I'll cut that barrel looking tongue out of your head! This is a misunderstanding! I didn't say whatever it is you think I said. We've nigh quarrel. That's where you're wrong. Back down, all of this is unnecessary. Want you to drink in here instead of arguing? Yeah, I'm gonna be the diplomat up in here. We don't want your charity either, foreigner. They squint at you through red bleary eyes, tense suspiciously like you're defending him. Oh, okay. Right, we're gonna do this then. Okay then. Stop being so angry. Where's my wounds? Okay, wow, he just got chopped up. Like, whoa. As the last of the attackers falls, the elf turns to you, the tension almost gone from his smooth face. Not quite how I hope to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that awkward situation. Glad I could help. Courtesy is a rare pleasure in these parts. Though your accent suggests that you are no more local than I. This is true. He straightens his hood, and you note the remains of fraying embroidery on his gloves. His boots are caked with the dirt of many months' travel, but the leather work beneath it is sturdy and fine. Well, I suppose introductions are in order after that little fiasco. Aloth Corvuser, at your service. Tell me about yourself. How did you manage to get stuck out here? Well, I'm a wizard by training, and an adventurer by necessity. I was born in the Seathwood, part of the mainland of the Adir Empire. And both of my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I am grateful. However, there were no open positions in those houses, and so I decided to seek new means in a new land. And how exactly did you come to be here? I was traveling with a caravan, but we were separated near some ruins. In Gwythan ruins? Yep. Oh, those can be dangerous places during the best of times, which these are not. Half the locals would arrest you for trespassing, and the rest would kill you outright. He leans closer. I'm curious. What exactly did you find there? A Buick. And you survived? I've heard such a thing was impossible. He regards you with a new interest. It seems you either have a knack for timing or the favor of the gods. Uh, just how did you manage to cross those three drunks? I'm afraid that was a matter of misunderstandings and mistranslations. He tenses his fingers it and looks away. It that people in these parts remember their war with Adir like it was yesterday. You did tell that one man to go fuck his sister. Ah, that. He clears his sword and adjusts his thieves. As I tried to tell them, they misheard me. It happens all too easily after a few points and the accent doesn't help. I heard the same thing. For just a moment, he looks as if he's about to say something else. His expression brightens with mischief. But before he can speak, he forces a tight smile, biting his lips so hard you expect to see blood. Finally, his face relaxes and he shakes his head. I should speak more clearly next time. My apologies. I'm afraid that was a matter of mis- I see. For which I'm grateful. Let's go, okay. Gildavale. Excellent question. I came looking for fresh air and cheap land. Instead, the Magistrate gave me directions to the inn and a story about the local lord's expectant wife. But I take it that's a familiar tale. And you? Like I said, uh, I've experiencing strange things of late. I'm looking for an expert on souls. Indeed. 
The local lord has searched far and wide for similar specialists. He has rid himself of them almost as desperately. His darting glance takes in the tumble town tumble down buildings and a fallow rock strewn fields. I expect that such expertise would be best sought elsewhere. Uh you don't exactly look like a settler. Begging your pardon, but neither do you. Oh. Yet circumstances can find a person in the strangest of places. This is true. I should get going. But will you join me after I leave this dialogue? As should I, given recent events. It's just as well. I've had enough of the watered wine and lumpy beds at the inn. They say even the owner tired of the place. Just up and left one day. It explains quite a lot about the upkeep. Perhaps I could join you. Hmm. I could use a change of scenery, and I find it's better to travel in numbers. Yes, so do I. Let's go then. Excellent. We will fight I bears. Shall follow you. We will fight bears together. Nice! Don't you die on me. You have many... What is this? Silver Lushke. I'm taking all your gold. Even the gibbed ones. Ah. Take that. You don't have money. This one. You don't have money either. What about you? You're out of money. Alright. Let's we'll leave these corpses out here and just enter the, the inn, I guess. Let's take a look at what else is... What's here? Okay, that's the road west. Alright. Let's head inside. Yay! Where's that dwarf I saved? Good to see new faces around. Feels like the village gets smaller by the day. That's because you guys keep hanging everybody by that tree. What's this? You have a book. The floorboards are sticky with spills and no one has bothered to clean. Where's my buddy? Where's my buddy? Pasca. Well met, friend. Hello, and welcome to the innkeeper looks up. Oh, it's you! Tentforth told us what you did for him. It's such a relief to have him back. I can't thank you enough. Yes, I see some water. Consider yourself a favorite of the house. Discounts on drinks, rooms. Yes, Tentforth said he wanted to whip up something nice for you. He's already back to work in the kitchen. She laughs. So what would you like? Uh... Could I... Yeah... I don't know. <laughs> oh, help. Side quest. I'd like a room first, though. Certainly. You're always welcome. Where's the room? What? Inns allow characters to rest without using camping supplies. Cheap rooms are usually available, but you have... But if you have copper to spend, you may consider the more expensive options. The bonuses they provide last for a long time and affect the entire party. Yeah. Yes, I don't want to spend any money, man. Oh, that, that's actually kind of cool. Recruited. Oh, is this how I recruit people? Recruit adventure. Level 1 adventurer. What is this? Store. Oh, I can just go through all your stuff without looking through all your dialogue options. Party management. Ah, so I go to you for party management. Nice. Common room it is. How much do I have? One, 271? Nah, man. I, just, I gotta go free. I think that's the rest thing now, unless that's some random dream I had. What? Your sleep is restless and fevered, assaulted by hisses and whispers blanketed with a suffocating anxiety. You open your eyes to awaken and find yourself in front of the gilded veil's gallows tree, the creaking of its ropes growing louder in your mind until the sound is deafening. Hanging from the tree is an old dwarf woman whose face is shriveled inward like moldering fruit. Her head hangs limply to one side. As you look at her, she looms larger and larger in your mind until she is mere inches from your face. Suddenly. Whoa, her head snaps up and her eyes open, and they are empty in behind them in a vast nothingness that makes your stomach drop. Kinda reminds me of the face in the in the cave. Her mouth slowly parts, and with a gust of rancid air, she speaks a word, Watcher. You jolt awake, the foul smell of the dwarf woman's breath still permeating your nostrils. Sweat runs down your face and thick droplets, and your skin is soaked from head to toe. You remember the woman. You remember seeing her decaying face when you spoke with the magistrate. He called her an animancer. Though it fills you with a new queasy apprehension, you feel a strange compulsion to see this woman once more, if only to confirm she is truly dead. Alright, so I'm going out back to the gallows tree. Yes, yeah, seek help for your condition. I guess I did already. Find the dwarf woman from your dream. I should really look at my journal and see what are the things I have to do. <laughs> Escape the ruins. Wait, these ones are finished? Moment of respite. The gilded veil. I guess I did it already. This one I have to do. There we go. Okay, so anything that's faded away, I, I, I've done already. Awesome! Can I talk to you? I can't talk to Aloth. Why not? Where's, where's, where are you? I gotta talk to you, bro. I, fr I freaking saved you. Now we're bros. I hope you join our party. 
Hey, ah, it's you, my savior. He makes a sweeping gesture. Sorry, I went to sleep first before I talked to you. You probably needed some rest, too. He makes a sweeping gesture to indicate the kitchen around you. It's so good to be back. Do not think I will let this go unrewarded. I have decided you have earned the right to learn one of my most closely guarded secrets, my dearest recipe. After this, you will eat nothing else. A savory pie to keep you hale and hearty. May it serve you well in your travels. Thank you, dude. How do I do that? Did you just give me a recipe and I don't know about it? What's this? Can I steal that? I don't know. Probably not, maybe? Damage reduction? Wow, everything gives us things. I will name a dish in your honor. Cool. Alright, so you get alcohol because you're a beer drinker. You will also get alcohol. And I don't think anything else is in here. Oh, can we sit by? Can we sit? Can we totally sit down? Oh man, this is so cool. I'm going to talk to random people real quick. What do they have to say? They're, oh, they're looking for Pearly. Oh wow. I'm going to have to find Pearly because he had some purple swirly stuff around him. Okay, these guys don't have anything. Oh, whoa. And who are you then? Another fool come to answer Radric's invitation? Our great lord had my sister run out of town after the buoy was born. She was the only family I had left. Not sure where she is now. Blazes, I need another drink. Okay. 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 Well. Oh, table. What? I can grab things from the table? Scroll of fan flames. Uh, development of a crucible knight. Oh, okay. It's a book. I'll take the money. Somebody's tip, maybe. There's an upstairs. What's upstairs? Let me check out what's upstairs. It loads upstairs. It's way quieter over here. Caruser. Grab a drink, friend. Not much of wealth worth of town, says the woman from Thien. Hey, we said we didn't mention Thien. These are the bedrooms, then. Cool. A book. The Druid. Take the lockpick. No, give it to you. Cause... What class are you, dude? Oh, crap. I can level up. Whoa, where does this go? This goes outside, doesn't it? This goes outside. Hey, this is sleeping. There's a black hound. The hound stares intently at the covered window, head cocked as if waiting to hear a particular sound. It looks up when you approach and whines alone out, pet the dog. Dog's tail thumps happily against the floorboards. I petted the dog and I feel so happy. I was going to go through the top way the first time, but whatever. More beds. Let's explore in here. That's locked. There's a person here. Please leave me be. I'm filled with sickness with what I have seen this place and its people. Okay. Alright guys, so I'm going to end the episode of Pillars of Eternity right here. I gained a new party member. I'll probably level up in the next episode to see what else Aloth has. So, Anyway, if you guys made it this far, thanks for watching. And as always, take care and take it to 30 out. Alright guys, game on everybody. Ooh, you have money. You have a lot. And fruit. Uh, use your max endurance. Okay, for three seconds. <gasps> yes! I got a hood, baby. Fuck yeah. And a cape. Can I do hood and cape? What am I... What can I get rid of? I don't need a helmet. Fuck that shit. You have leather armor that I don't need. I don't need no bow. Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Until first, 10 first, whatever you need. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. I look so cool now. Hell yeah!